Welcome back, visionaries, to... Oh, God. Mm. Mm. Welcome back, visionaries, to my channel. Today, we're gonna dive into the hot topic of habits. These habits aren't just everyday habits. It's more habits that you need to mentally have in order to be more successful with ADHD. Now, these tips I got from a book called Delivered from Distraction, because I love to read. But if you don't love to read, great. I'm gonna give you the seven tips that he talks about in this book. Stay tuned to the end, because I'm gonna give you my personal seven tips that I think are really good things to do and habits to build. I don't feel like staying at home. I gotta get out of here to go to a Starbucks or something, and then we'll dive straight into the seven habits of highly effective people with ADHD and or just people, shall we? All right, let's get going. This kickstarts our habits of making sure you get out of the house, even if you don't want to. It is actually a really amazing day, and it's been really, really gross here in the Midwest, and it's actually feeling pretty dang beautiful. Actual tip number one is to make sure that you do what you're good at and don't do what you're not good at because you can't do everything. If you distract yourself from trying to do the things that you're not really that good at as opposed to just focusing on the one thing that you're good at, you're not really gonna get anywhere. Tip number two, I'm about to explain. I love YouTube, I love creating videos, I love being a creator, it's like a one-man show, but it doesn't have to be because tip number two is delegate the things that you're not good at to somebody else. Is that good? Can you guys see me now? Can you see me now? I call all the shots, I flip all the blocks. That's not the word. Oh, Tip number three is connect your energy to a creative outlet. So <laughs> clearly I'm doing that. I think that anybody that has ADD or any one person needs to make sure that they have some level or some connection to creativity in their life. By getting out of the house, you also might witness nature. There is a deer. So if I would have just stayed in my house, I would have missed an opportunity to see Bambi. <laughs> that lady looked annoyed at me. Now she's looking at the deer that I pointed out to her. But anyways, wow. So channel your energy into something creative and I think that can go for anybody. And I think that is a good thing to remember. Tip number four is to get well enough organized to get your goals and your tasks done. Obviously don't be perfect at it because you never will be. Trust me, I'm looking into it. So just get well enough organized to help yourself complete your goals. Tip number five is to ask and heed advice from well-trusted friends, if you have any, because right now I kind of don't. I do, I do, I have close friends, that's, that's a lie. I just lost a decent amount of them recently. Hashtag, it's me, not them. If you have trusted friends, ask and heed their advice and try to ignore the dream breakers, the naysayers, and the haters. And just, just ignore them. I live really close to Starbucks. I was thinking I was having a drive far. I'm already here. It's literally been a minute and a half, two minutes. And the next tip is pretty segue -y. Tip number six is to stay in close contact with friends, close friends. Don't isolate which us ADHDers love to do because we think we can figure it all out by ourselves and then for some reason we're overwhelmed. Definitely try to and do stay in contact with a few close friends. Make sure that you reach out on the regs. And the last tip for awesome habits and or just mindsets is to go with your positive side because we all have a negative side, but make sure that you go with your positive side on making decisions. But first I gotta go to the restroom because coffee equals restrooms. While I was using the restroom, I realized that I forgot <clears throat> my backpack with my laptop in it. So, first world problems. On my second trip to Starbucks, there is another deer right there. So getting out of the house, it gets you one-on-one -on -one in nature, even if it's in a neighborhood. Bye, deer. Are you ready to give this another go? You ready to go? Let's go. I'll get a regular one. Um, All right, I am back from Starbucks. It is getting later in the evening and I've got places to be and people to see. So I'm gonna give you the seven tips and habits that I've accumulated over my own lifetime. Number one is to listen to audiobooks while you're in your car. It does one of two things. You learn while you're driving and you're also off your phone while you're driving because you're focused while you're driving. Tip number two is to listen to and or watch videos on 1.5 or 2.0 times speed. Like speed things up. I cannot even watch videos at regular speed anymore. I definitely get more information and I stay focused on the information because it's at a pace that my brain is like, got it, got it, keep, keep, keep it coming. 
Tip number three is to do the most difficult thing in your day first, which is a habit I've been really practicing on doing and it has set me free from so much stress. Tip number four is to listen to motivational, motivational speeches. I know that I have gotten in the trap of just binge watching them or binge listening to them, um, but just listen to one and let it start your day off right. But definitely listen to them because they have a way of really just like calling that inner warrior within your spirit to be like, yup, I can do it. But don't just sit and listen to the motivational speeches, actually do something about it and take action, which is tip number five. Go do something, go do something instead of just sitting there binge watching things and binge listening to things. Tip number six is to make a vision board or to write down your goals, get a visual, put it on your wall, get a poster board like high school days and write down the top 10 things you wanna get done in your life and focus on that, which leads into tip number seven. What is your one thing that you really wanna do? Prioritize your life around your one thing, which is an amazing book that I highly suggest anybody read if you haven't read it, and let that be the center focus of your life and orbit everything around that focus. We know that if you have ADHD, you're distracted by a million things. I understand we want to do everything because I am so guilty of that, but if it doesn't go towards the one thing you really want to do and accomplish in life, then maybe it is something that you just need to make peace with and let go of it. So. <coughs> wow. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any ideas or comments or suggestions on what anybody can do in their life to make it easier or habits they can implement or thought processes or mindsets they can have, definitely leave them in the comment section below. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy watching my videos. Click the little gray bell down below to be notified the moment I upload another video. And please everybody have a good rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye.